I want you to think about this. There is a passage in the scriptures that says this. Jacob, I loved. Esau, I hated. Now, we have to ask ourselves a question. How did God manifest his love toward Jacob? And how did he manifest his hatred or wrath toward Esau? This is very, very helpful. To understand this will help you understand something about God being your father. If you look at Esau's life, God fulfilled every promise he made regarding Esau. He blessed Esau with wealth, with power. He became a great leader, a great nation. God blessed Esau. So how is it that God's hatred was manifested toward Esau? God never disciplined Esau. He let Esau be Esau. He never intervened in Esau's life. He never worked to make Esau holy. He just cut the rope and let Esau go and live exactly like Esau wanted to live. Now, how did God manifest his love toward Jacob? He beat Jacob every day of his life. Look at Jacob. He would not allow Jacob to continue on as Jacob. Jacob was the deceiver. But when Jacob became a son, God said, Jacob, it's going to take a while, but I'm going to change you from a deceiver into a prince. And you look at the life of Jacob, the trials he suffered, the things that he went through, so that when he entered into the promised land, once again, he entered in limping. He entered in limping. Why? Because here's what you need to understand, especially in America. The goal of God in your life is not prosperity. It's not health. It's not wealth. And it's most certainly not your best life now. God's goal, if you belong to him as a child, is to make you holy, to conform you to the image of Christ. He will cleanse you from your filthiness. He will cleanse you from your idols. And He will be very zealous in doing that. He will do anything that is necessary to make you conform to the image of His Son. Is He doing that in your life? Is He?